Hi, I'm Dorothy Maying. Let me tell you my life story. I was born on May 5, 1920 near Kirinmuir, Alberta, Canada. My parents, Richard Ng and Louisa Wright were both from London, England, they had six children, Marion, Walter, Charlie, me, Violet, and Myrtle. We lived in a dry area on the Saskatchewan border, and because of the great drought, we were forced to move repeatedly to farms that had more moisture. Finally my parents bought a farm in the Norbuck area southeast of Breton. There I completed grade 9, the highest grade available in the Norbuck school. Then I worked on a dairy farm at High Ridge. I fell in love with a wonderful man named George Buchanan and we married on February 22, 1941. That summer George went to work for Nistrum Brothers, southwest of Carnwood. They had a small sawmill. George built a skid shack 8 foot by 16 foot so I went out and cooked for them. There were lots of partridges so we made many a meal of them. The only meat was on their breast, so we would skin them and keep the breast. I was pregnant so we bought a lot in town and moved the shack on it, then built a bedroom on. George worked in camp and came home on weekends. Our son Bill was born in Rimby. I came home on the train. When the train stopped at Norbeck, Evans Carson's mother came on the train to see the baby. We lived in Breton until the spring of 1943. We bought the Charlie Broughton farm and moved the shack there that summer. George's father and brother Jack came to live with us. They cleaned up Broughton's shack so they had a place to sleep. That summer the men built the house. The 8 by 16 shack was used as a blacksmith shop. The other, Pa lived in. Our son Reg was born in Le Duke at this time. We bought another farm, the nearby McNeil Place and moved there, as Jack and Tina were married in December. Lloyd was born in 1945 and Ed in 1950. Bill started school and stayed in town with Alf Benson's. The next year Reg started school and the two small boys walked two miles to catch the Prentice school bus. They left at 7.30 in the morning and didn't get home until 5 p.m. After New Year's Jack and Tina moved to Edmonton and we moved on to their farm. As we were not in a school district there, the school bus would pick them up at home. Judy was born in 1952. In the spring of 1953 we bought another shack and moved it to Camrose, as George was working for Canadian construction in the oil field. The boys finished the school year in Camrose. In the fall we moved back home. George worked in the oil field around Buck Lake and Alder Flats. In the summer there was so much rain that he missed a lot of work. Chris Spears phoned and said there was a job at the sawmill planer at Edgewater, B.C. George decided to take the job, so once again we were on the road. Ed Plunkey wanted to go to B.C. to look for work, so we loaded his truck and our car and left. We lived in a rented house there for a few years and then bought a double lot and the old medical clinic. We moved the clinic and built three bedrooms and a bathroom onto it. We lived there until June 1969, when we moved back to Breton. In Breton, we lived in Jack's house, then bought the Ruse house and lived there until 1989, when I moved into Spruce View Court. My sister Violet also lived there. In August 2009, Vian moved to Plainview Manor in Leduc. Jack passed away April 26, 1974 and George on September 3, 1975. All the years we were on the McNeil Place, George worked in lumber camps all winter and in summer they worked the farm. We lived in town in the winter while he was at camp. I have always had good friends and a wonderful family, goodbye.